So with these storms this week, there comes a lot of chance for coastal flooding. Definitely, right? and we've seen that many, many times through this winter. And I actually spoke with the Gulf of Maine Research Institute about how they're monitoring coastal flooding and tracking it. We're seeing more of these higher high tides. Sea level rise, the most visual impact of climate change in Maine, has the attention of Gail Bonus, Coastal Resilience Program Manager at the Gulf of Maine Research Institute. And these tides can creep up high enough that even like where I'm standing right now on a sunny day could be flooded. Places like this now flood about a dozen times per year, and the frequency of these coastal flood events will continue to increase as sea levels rise. And even our like rocky coast communities, so say if they're on a peninsula and there's low-lying roads to get access to them, those roads are at risk. GMRI is working with the Maine Climate Action Plan launched in December. The state is evaluating what steps need to be taken to mitigate the effects of sea level rise. Thinking about what kind of water level and weather conditions combined are going to lead to flooding in specific areas because we have such a variable and diverse coastline. To fully grasp the impact of what's already flooding, they are launching a citizen observing program to spot high tides. It's starting in Belfast and all you need is a camera to take part. Belfast has this really amazing climate crisis committee. It's a group of volunteers that are working really closely with their town to tackle and understand what climate impacts are coming their way and to make some movement and progress towards building resilience. The program officially kicks off this spring, expanding to Portland, South Portland and Vinyl Haven, looking to get citizens involved in science while collecting valuable data. So that way we can better understand how our sea levels are rising and how these weather events are having an impact. All with the goal of raising awareness and making informed decisions about our future. Yeah, On the Portland waterfront, I'm meteorologist Ryan Breton, News Center, Maine.